Eight of Swords in reverse, gaining a new perspective to the Seven of Cups, a new perspective that it would be fantasy and illusion to continue to participate in this relationship. Queen of Swords bridges both of those and says that you are looking at the situation with logic and reasoning. You're not playing, not playing. She's stern, but she's also flexible, right? You don't wish any ill will on this person, but you are not taking this into your future. That's the energy of the Queen of Swords. The wheel in reverse, because you see it as a blockage. Again, to the Five of Swords, right? Where was that? It was back here. This back here somewhere. The Five of Swords, again. This is about a win at all costs, right? I might want this Ten of Cups and the Empress, but I'm not willing to compromise the reality of what has happened here in order to keep that. Because what has happened here is an obstacle to my long-term future. Hey Aries, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Used to be Deep Thoughts with Dana, but we're the Gypsy Psychic now, right? All right, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, come on in, have a seat. If you're returning, if you're old friends coming back to sit with me again, snuggle up, grab a blanket, right? Get something to eat, something to snack on, something to drink, something to smoke, put your feet up. And let's dive into some tarot cards for you. All right. I am going to do a general tarot card reading for the collective of Aries. It'll work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about them as I clarify them and we'll sew together a story. Okay. All right. Let's do it. I have shuffled these cards like to no end. So here, I'll do it on camera for y'all just for the skeptics. Okay. <laughs> Just, whoops, just for the skeptics. Let's see. All right. One. Oh, we didn't go right there. Did we? And two. All right, Aries. Let's do this, all right? All right. So, y'all give me just a minute. I'm going to uh, get connected. I'm going to channel. We'll lay out the cards and we'll talk about it. All right. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Aries with me. And they want to know what you know, Spirit. What do you know about the collective of Aries? And what is it that they need to know? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Spirit, Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Aries, the collective of Aries, the messages that they need to know and understand. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle, oh, just a couple more times. I'll cut three times and I'll begin to pull straight off the top. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring the messages to Aries that they need to know and understand. All right, you guys, let's cut these. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck. King of Swords. All right. Truth. Honesty. Two of Swords. Two of Wands. I'm sorry. Two of Wands. First card out. The future, right? Future. Looking down the road, wondering what life's going to bring. Page of Swords. Maybe some communication of some sort. Maybe formulated in thought pattern. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. A lost opportunity. The Death in reverse. A personal transformation. The Page of Cups. Messages. The Two of Cups. Some kind of a unified partnership. The Three of Wands. Having some foresight into the future. Seven of Ouch, in the center of your reading, Aries. Mm, 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 mm. This is about betrayal and deception. The Ace of Swords, some truth. Maybe you discovered something. Four of Cups, now you're thinking hard. Little, little stubborn right there for some reason. The Five of Wands, conf conflict. The Nine of Swords, well, yeah. Two, Knight of Cups in reverse. Heart feelings. Eight of Swords in reverse, new perspectives. The Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions, fantasy, illusion. The Wheel in reverse, a blockage. The Five of Swords, win at all costs, um, conflict, tension, loss, defeat. 
Page of Pentacles, manifestation, Ten of Wands, completion of a burden or struggle, the High Priestess in reverse, secrets or ignoring your intuition, um, the Nine of Wands, worn out, resilience, persistence, the Ten of Cups, the be all to end all in emotional fulfillment, the moon in reverse, repressed emotions, the two of swords, crossroads, another blockage, the same blockage with the world in reverse, the challenge of the seven of wands, protect yourself with the four of pentacles in reverse, loss, regret, despair, disappointment, not negotiable, lack of teamwork and collaboration, knight of swords, to the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse, the Three of Swords. All right, it starts repeating now, right? Now it's going to repeat, and that's where we need to stop. All right, we probably could have stopped actually right back here, but what the heck? All right, all right, Aries, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. I'm going to do the first couple cards here on camera, and then I'm going to fast forward the whole clarification process, and then we'll pick right up where we leave off, okay? So the Two of Wands, looking into the future to the Page of the Swords. Whoa, we got somebody. Two of Wands. Okay, yeah, look, the Prince of Pentacles, looking long-term, looking long-term down the road at the future. Interesting. To the Page of Swords, Seven of Wands in reverse. So formulating a thought pattern, right? Um, to the, or the, the beginnings of a thought pattern, right? Seven of Wands in reverse. Uh, given up. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's lost opportunity. The Chariot in reverse. No forward movement. To the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Possibly financial disarray. Possibly financial loss. Hmm. Ten of Cups on top of it. All right. That's interesting. Ten of Cups on top of it. Beautiful. Well, what do we got here? We got the Ten of Cups to the Empress, no less. What is this about right here? What is this about? Okay, Aries, this is what's going on. Um, we also had a, a technical difficulty here. The camera stopped recording, so I don't know what happened to everything. I don't even know if we got it on video or not. But nevertheless, here's your spread. This is what's happening, Aries. So you're looking into the future, right? You're looking out of this reading into your future, gazing off and planning. Prince of Pentacles, right? Planning your long-term future. That's what you're doing. Okay. Page of Swords tells me that you're formulating a new perspective. You're formulating a thought pattern. Okay. Um, I don't think this is like outright communication, but it could be seen as how I don't know who I'm reading for. Okay. But you're formulating a thought pattern right here. The thought pattern is about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Something just is not worth it. It's just, it's a lost opportunity. It could be lost finances, but it's just not worth it. Okay. Eight of wands. Um, there is no, no, you don't like the direction that this is going in. Whatever this is for you, you don't like the direction it's going in. Seven of wands in reverse. Um, you're giving up on it. The chariot in reverse. You don't want to carry it forward. The two of pentacles in reverse. Um, but it upsets your sense of security, right? It upsets your sense of stability, the Ten of Cups, because it was beautiful to the Empress. It was beautiful. You have somebody in your life that is significant to you. It's a significant relationship in your life. This could be your wife, your lover, your it could be your husband, it could be your mother, it could be a father. It's somebody that holds significant title in your life that you that you that you have a lot of respect for. Okay? Three of Pentacles in reverse says that there's just there's a lack of teamwork and collaboration now. And and whatever this is in your mind, Aries, is just not negotiable. Just not negotiable. Death in reverse tells me two things. It tells me that you're resistant to this change, right? Because you're telling me with the Ten of Cups and the Empress that things were great. But now you're formulating a new thought pattern and you're going to give up on something. You're not going to go forward with something because you don't want to take it into your long-term future. 
but you're resistant to this a bit. Hence the Four of Cups in reverse, right? You're resistant, you're apathetic to this change, but on the flip side, death in reverse is talking about a personal transformation. And the Four of Cups in reverse is talking about rejecting this situation over here. The Page of Cups, messages of creation. This person wants to remain in the Ten of Cups Empress position. Okay, this person wants to stay in this situation with you. Page of Cups. This is possibly apologies. This is this is let's start again. This is a message of creation that's coming into you, and that's why you're pondering your future. Right? Hold on. And that's why you're pondering your future. This person wants the Six of Cups. They want to give and receive. They want to stay living together. They want to move in together. Um, this represents the family, the family unit, peace, harmony, abundance, to judgment in reverse. But you, you know this is a bad decision. This is major arcana. This is spirit. And it, judgment in reverse is either deciding to not decide or a bad decision. And I think it's both for you here. You know in your heart of hearts it's a bad decision. But for a split second, you give it some thought. And you're going to decide to not to decide right now. But you know inside of you that it is a bad decision to accept this person's page of cups. Okay. Two of cups, right? This is a, about a love, uh, not a, it could be love, right? It's love of some sort. It's about a significant partnership in your life. This could be work. It could be family. It could be anything because I don't know who I'm reading for. Okay. But there is a significant partnership in your life. Three of swords in reverse that wants forgiveness from you the alchemist. You want to manifest this relationship, five of swords, but you're not willing to compromise with whatever has happened right here. What has happened right here is the queen of wands. There is another person in this situation. There is. Whether it's another, whether you have your eye on another person or your person has their eye on another person or perhaps cheated. I don't see the three of cups in reverse anywhere, but there is another person in the relationship. And that is why the ten of cups and the empress no longer has teamwork and collaboration. That's why you're changing your perspective. That's why you're looking into the future. That's why you're apathetic about this message of forgiveness coming in with the Page of Cups. To the devil in reverse. This is detaching, right? The devil in the upright is toxic. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. And you are identifying this situation because there is some kind of fuckery going on here. There is some kind of something happening between the two of you. And you are detaching yourself from the situation. The Three of Wands, because you're having some foresight for the future. And what you're saying to yourself in the Seven of Swords is that I can't, I can't, I, it's irreparable. It's irreparable. Whatever has happened here is irreparable. And you're having some foresight about carrying this toxicity into the future. Remember, in Judgment in Reverse, you were deciding to not quite decide just yet. But you're having some foresight, right? Prince of Swords, this this page of swords right here, this formulating a new thought pattern has now turned into the Prince of Swords. You are executing a decision with the Prince of Swords, possibly delivering the message of, I don't want nothing to do with this. Okay. To the fool, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey. This fool is headed out of this reading. And this is Aries saying, you know what? I'm done with all this. I'm done. I'm done with all of this. All the fuckery, whatever it is right here, all the fuckery, I'm done with it. And then strength comes on top and talks about your determination and your strength. The Ace of Swords, you found out truth about some kind of betrayal and deception. Or this is your truth about the betrayal and the deception, okay? Four of Cups comes in and talks about um, contemplating, reevaluating. It's right underneath the decision to not decide, right? Contemplating, reevaluating things. 
Four of Pentacles, looking out for yourself, looking out for your own best interests, your own stability, your own structure. The Three of Wands in reverse, right? Now we do have two threes in reverse, which is kind of the Three of Cups in reverse that I was looking for, right? So the Three of Wands in reverse, obstacles to the long-term goals. What? Manifesting a new anything with this queen of pentacles who has been demoted from the empress okay at one point when it was the ten of cups this person was your everything then this fuckery with the seven of swords happened and now they've been demoted to the queen of pentacles <laughs> but this person who holds title in your life um whether it's a job or whatever right you see you see manifesting something with this person as obstacles to your long-term goals five of wands there's just too much damn conflict in this situation nine of swords oh wrapped in your head about this whole situation to the Ace of Pentacles. The answer is just to manifest a new opportunity on your own because you know this is a bad decision. And that's what you're racked in your mind about, about continuing to go with this situation, to fix it, to manifest it again. Knight of Cups in reverse talks about unrealistic. It also talks about jealousy, okay? Because there is some kind of third party situation happening here. Could be jealousy. What happened to my hair? Anyway, could be jealousy, okay? Eight of Swords in reverse, gaining a new perspective to the Seven of Cups, a new perspective that it would be fantasy and illusion to continue to participate in this relationship. Queen of Swords bridges both of those and says that you are looking at the situation with logic and reasoning. You're not playing, not playing. She's stern, but she's also flexible, right? You don't wish any ill will on this person, but you are not taking this into your future. That's the energy of the Queen of Swords. The wheel in reverse, because you see it as a blockage. Again, to the Five of Swords, right? Where was that? It was back here. This back here somewhere. The Five of Swords again. This is about a win at all costs, right? I might want this Ten of Cups and the Empress, but I'm not willing to compromise the reality of what has happened here in order to keep that. Because what has happened here is an obstacle to my long-term future. So what's going on? Two of Wands, your future, looking into your future, right? To the Page of Pentacles, manifesting someplace else. To the Ten of Wands, dropping this, this incredible burden that you carry in this situation. The High Priestess in reverse, the secret that was revealed, which is the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. To the Eight of Swords in reverse, gave you a new perspective about this person in this situation. The Nine of Wands, resilience and persistence to the Ten of Cups. And you're not willing, you're not willing to hold on in this situation in order to regain this Ten of Cups right here. You don't think this Ten of Cups can ever be recreated between you and this person. The Moon in reverse, repressed emotions at the two of swords, a crossroads, right? The world in reverse, blockage to any kind of forward movement in your life because you don't have faith in this relationship anymore. Seven of wands, is it worth fighting for? Four of pentacles in reverse says, nope, self-protection. I'm doing what's best for me. Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Three of Pentacles in reverse. One too many people in the situation. Knight of Swords, executing the same decision as the Knight of Swords that grew out of the Page of Swords right there to the Nine of Pentacles to be self-sufficient, independent, and stand on your own two feet to bring this whole situation to a culmination. To the Sun, because that's where your happiness lies. Your happiness is not found in this relationship anymore. That's what you're telling me. To the tower in reverse. Personal transformation, seeing things a new way, averting the disaster of trying to create the Ten of Cups with this person ever again. To temperance in reverse. Because there is a fundamental misalignment of values between the two of you. And that's what this spread says. Let's get a um, a numerology oracle card, yeah? Better be taping up there. Oh, did it stop? Gosh, darn it. It did. 
Oh well, we're done with the spread. I don't know how much of that spread it got. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Ah, jeez. I don't know what the deal is with it. It's got like 89% battery. Okay, so let's do a oracle card, a numerology guidance card for you. Whoa, just see that? That flew out, but you know what? That was fat fingers and not spirit. <laughs> All right, you guys. So spirit, tell me, what do you want this particular Aries to walk away with? What are your closing words? What do you want this particular Aries to walk away with, Spirit? What do you want? 91, surrender. Let's see what this says for you guys, Aries. 91, surrender. Ready? I don't have my glasses on. This card indicates a need to surrender your attachment to a particular situation or preferred outcome because your inability to let go is impeding your success. Desperation blocks manifestation. Therefore, the more you struggle to attract your desire, the more you push it away. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to detach from, detach from, the situation and surrender the outcome to the divine. In order to attract what you want, you must give the universe space to deliver your request. This can only be achieved by getting out of the way so that everything can unfold as it should. It isn't your job to make it happen. It is simply your job to allow it to happen. When you surrender to the outcome, when you surrender the outcome to the divine, you let the magic flow. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are, are encouraging you to let go, trust, and surrender. Make peace, make peace with your life as it is today and appreciate what you already have. When you do what brings you joy rather than fret about the result, divine order and timing will bring the perfect outcome your way. That is Perfect for this spread. Perfect. Well, there you go, Aries. If you want to join me over on Patreon, we have a little club going on over there where you guys get all kinds of early stuff and, of course, free extended readings when I do them. I'm not big on it. And most importantly, we have a once a month group meeting every the last Wednesday of every month where we just sit around, hang out, do tarot cards, talk about stuff, and just have a good time. Um, I'm also going to have a once a month meeting for those of you who would like to learn how to read tarot cards as well. So if you want to join me over on Patreon, bounce on over there. Otherwise, I will see you on the flip side, my friends. Namaste.